What's up guys, this is Dave from Crux Motorsports. We're going to be showing you today how to apply our hood stripe on this 2025 Subaru Forester. Um, this is also the same installation video for all the other stripes that we make for the other Subarus. So if you're linked to this video because of that, same, same method, different shapes. Um, this is a dry application. We're going to be applying it completely dry. Some things you'll need today are masking tape, uh, squeegee, and scissors and obviously you wanna clean the hood. And if you wanna wipe it down with a microfiber and a little bit of rubbing alcohol right prior to installation, that would be ideal. If you see any dirt in the final product here in the video, that's because I didn't really clean the hood that well. So don't judge me. Um, but yeah, we're gonna go ahead and get started. If you're interested in this or any of the products that we make for this vehicle, the links for those are in the video description below. And this is also the matte black film. So we do have this available in some other colors as well. So if you like other ones that, uh, whatever fits your taste. So let's go ahead and get started. Um, once you have everything cleaned, you could align the hood stripe um, side to side. And then there's about a half inch gap on the back, maybe maybe like three eighths, uh, between where the hood stripe stops and where the hood stops. So, or uh, optional, you could run it a little past it and roll it over that edge, whichever you like better, uh, visually wise. On the darker colors, you're not gonna obviously notice this so much, but like the white and the brighter silver color, you will notice that line in the back. So whatever you like, um, you have the ability to position it that way. So once you have it aligned, go ahead and just put two little tape pieces on it just to hold it in place. Then we're gonna take our masking tape and go right across the center-ish. You also want to do this in the shade. Um, in ideal temperatures, probably about 60 degrees. If it is warmer, that's all right. If it's colder, you might be able to push to like 50 degrees, but any colder than that, I definitely see a heated garage. The material will get more brittle as the temperature drops. Uh, once it's applied, that is not an issue, but it's just during the application process where you have that issue. So now this is your choice, either start on the front side or the back side. I'm gonna just start on the front. What we're gonna do is peel this liner and then get the uh, material off of the backing paper. You get your fingernail right on that edge, you can start to peel it up. If it does fold over on itself, you cannot do that as well. It's good I'm showing you all the good stuff in this video. It's all the issues that people might run into. Unintentionally. Unintentionally on, I guess, both of our parts. Um, so one thing to note is when you are working this back down, do not work it on that crease where the vinyl stops, or I'm sorry, where the backing paper stops because you will crease the material. So I will show you, but we're just gonna stop a little bit short of that. Trying to get some of the dirt off of this so it doesn't look absolutely horrible. So once you have this complete, you can go ahead, take your material, lay it back down. We're gonna start right in front of that crease. Just get a nice, baseline, then working from the center out, just work the material down with the squeegee. This is an air release film, so the air that gets trapped behind it is going to escape as you squeegee it down. A lot of people ask if they could apply this wet. You could. 
I don't recommend it because what happens is you do get water that stays under the film. There's like little tiny microgreens cut in there. And what happens is the water does not fully evaporate. Then you end up with a bunch of bubbles. So it's up to you. So now you just uh, are gonna pull this back down a little ways. Um, I'm gonna leave a little bit on the end just so I could put a little bit of even tension on the film. And then we'll take that off at the very end. So, if you just put a touch of tension on that, you see how it smooths out. If you work that center down and then start to work outwards. We're going to pull this one a little bit that way. Get everything smoothed down. And again, remember that uh, other edges that I should don't run into it. So now we can do this last little bit. This is a pressure sensitive adhesive, so it's not gonna fully stick until you press down on it. I mean it let me rephrase. It does tack, but I mean you can still pull it back up. If you notice, uh, I had the that cut pretty close to where the hood uh, was. I, I, wow, I'm totally tongue tied right now. The backing paper had cut pretty close to where this edge line was. When you do receive this, it's going to be on a squared off sheet. It does make it a lot easier if you do cut that down just for alignment purposes. So you can take scissors and just trim around the edge. We don't send them that way. Um, because you could end up with a crease during shipping where that liner stops at. So that is the extent of it. This is the um, matte black film. If you are interested in this, like I said, the link's in the video description below as well as the rest of the products we offer for this vehicle. If you wanna hang out for the rest of this video, I'm gonna show you how to install the uh, topographical map overlay for this. So if you're interested in that or you have that product as well, continue to watch. All right, so if you made it this far in the video without falling asleep, you either stumbled across this video or you actually purchased one of our products. Um, I'm gonna be doing the topo portion of this now. And you're gonna ask yourself, why doesn't the base layer have a liner on the top of it, which you'll see in the video. Um, the reasoning behind that is the base layer, like I guess the stripe portion of this, is harder to do with a liner than it is without. Um, what happens is the liner will prevent the material from bunching which is good in certain cases, uh, but not when you're working with something that has a curve side to side and front to back. So even though the hood looks very flat, um, it does have a little bit of curve to it. That's why that graphic in the first part of this video didn't lay completely flat. So this is the gloss black stripes um, on top of the matte black uh, base color.
So you want to get this aligned on the stripe. You could measure if you want. I'm just going to eyeball it because this is just a quick video. Put the tape on, make sure you don't move it like I just did. So now I'm realigning it. Oh boy. Alright, that's it's close. So we're gonna do this in two pieces just like we did the uh the hitch stripe itself. Um you're gonna need scissors, which I don't know where my cutter went. You could start on the top or the bottom, wherever's easier for you. Doesn't really matter. I'm gonna do the bottom just because. So just like the bottom, you don't want to actually squeegee on this uh, little line. You will crease this material as well. So we're going to lay this down. Starting at the bottom, working out just like we did on the first strip. So once you have the front done, you do the top portion. Alright, so now you can pull the backing material off on this one. We're going to start with this smaller piece. What you do have to watch this is what I forgot to tell you. Make sure you're not pulling the stripes up with it. It helps if you go in the direction of the stripes. Um, if you do get uh, hood overlay topo with um, just one piece of backing paper, which is the Outback as of now. Uh, that one, basically you just want to make sure these are down. So you might have to, I'll show you right here. So 
So these are actually stuck down real good. You just have to watch for the very end. So like, let's say this one was pulling up. I just put my finger on it and hold it while I'm pulling that paper off. All right, there's a good example. So. Basically put your finger on the film and then you can pull it off. Oh good, I got a interesting thing going on there. So that's good, I could show you something else that might arise during installation. So this one actually fixes itself. So I'm not gonna show you anything on that. Uh, if you notice on this back one, I pretty much completely pulled it off with the transfer paper. So basically, if you just work it, it has the curve built into it already. So just as long as you stay, I guess, parallel with how perpendicular, parallel. Um, what you do wanna watch is like when you come to the very end, you want to make sure that is going to lay with the correct gap in it to match up with the other ones. Worst case scenario, if you do get that off a little bit, you can trim it with a razor blade. Um, if you're interested in this product or any of the other products that we offer for this vehicle, the links are in the video description below. Um, thanks for watching. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out. Our Email address is listed on the website as well as our phone number and it's about all. So thanks for watching.